on the BCS stage. Third down. Taylor being chased by Bird. Slip sack tackle. And the ball is loose. Underwood had it, lost it. Now a scramble for the football. It looked like two tight ends, power sets. And Evans runs right through Adam Hoppel. Number 44, Devin Perez right here. Watch him blocking on the backside. Great job at the point of attack. And then look at Evans, number 32, running right through the attempted tackle by number 67, Adam Hoppel, the starting defensive tackle. That's finishing a run. Wide receiver screen, and it's caught, and it's good enough for a first down out close to midfield of the point, what they call the wild turkey. And he fakes a handoff, and the big fellow will keep it himself. And he's rumbling inside the 35, down to the 30. But look at these guys up front, and watch the hole they create. Look at that. That's wide open. Gives him a full lane to run through. And once you get 280 pounds going in one direction, oh, this line getting stronger as the game goes on. And around again to Dyrell Roberts, cuts it to the inside and close to another first down. The ball, watch to the left of your screen, leading Roberts. Watch 32. Excellent block downfield for the Bearcats. 35 yards away, and he just snuck it in the left upright. Game better in order to get that done. They fake one way, Pike rolls back the other, still on his feet, and just nobody to throw it to. Second down and 10, that's play action, and Pike down the middle of the field, and it is intercepted again, it's Cam Chancellor. He was looking for the tight end, Ben Gadouli. And Brian Kelly is none too happy He's telling Tony Pike he misread the coverage because they go play action, which is fine, but if you can't run the football, no one's respecting it. And Cam Chancellor has been magnificent. Brian Kelly told me he went to the wrong spot with the ball by reading the coverage he read. He's the blitz in here. Evans still on his feet and has a first down out to the 42-yard line. Taylor caught by Cole, and it looks like he has enough for a first down. To pick so far, 11 rushing first downs for Virginia Tech in the game. But it's still just a six-point game. Goble in the game. What a delight to have a chance to visit with all of these players. Pike wrapped up by Orion Martin. Here comes a blitz, and Pike just spikes it in the ground. He took a hit from Cody Grimm. They hand it to Evans, and he breaks into the open field and is all the way to the 35. A 21-yard gain for Darren Evans. With a look at this offensive line, this rebuilt, restructured offensive line, winning the battles up front, including time of possession. And more yardage on the ground. Pike being chased. And was it picked off? It is an interception by Orion Martin. of the game thrown by Pike, and this is a huge pick. Virginia Tech under Bud Foster, known for their zone blitzing, meaning they brush other people and drop linemen. This is Orion Martin, number 90. Look how he reads it, because he saw it and came back to the football. He was actually standing up and worked his way out to the out ones for them. But Tony Pike on the throwback. Orion Martin with the great read and a tremendous interception. He returned a fumble for a touchdown in the ACC championship game. Evans to the outside, touchdown!
Watch here, and the cutback is over here. And look at that. Block it to the left side, wall it off, and Virginia Tech gets it done. On a second down and five at the Virginia Tech 11. And coming over the back of the defender was Harris. On this third down, Pike looking, looking, and throws it off. Is the catch good? No, it is incomplete. There is a penalty. Five receivers set. They do spread it out. And Pike finds Goodman, and that is a first down to keep the drive alive. First school records in receiving yards and touchdown. Well designed. The tight end in motion on first and goal. Blitz coming. Pike rolling. Spins out of way. Still on his feet. And throws to the corner of the end zone. It's caught, but it's out of bounds. The way he chased down Pike from the back side. Okay, this is him. Watch the pursuit. And then watch him dance with Tony Pike. He's right there. Everywhere Tony Pike turns. Pike to throw it. Looking in the corner of the end zone and overthrows Marcus Barnett. They have not attempted a run until now on the first two plays inside the three and now Goble takes it down near the goal line another fourth and goal Pike on the keeper and is denied the end zone What a great play. Look at look at this guy's pursuing. Bar Barkwell Rivers came into this game replacing Brett Warren, their normal starter. Rivers is coming after this one hard. They are. And just missed it. There's a flag down. And this might be roughing the kicker against the Bearcats. And if it is, they're in even deeper trouble. John Goble looks like... Foul. Nothing the kicker, yep. number 22 on the defense. Trying so hard to make a play. It's like Goebel's coming off the edge, untouched number 22, and actually gets blocked a little bit by Jonas House right number 89, which is what Goebel's going to say, but his angle was wrong all the way through. Inside their own 10-yard line, thrown by Tony Pike. It was intercepted by Orion Martin. Evans bounces it to the outside as a first down. Pike on first down with under two and a half to play. Throws his fourth interception of the night, and this one's Cody Grimm. And the celebration is on in Blacksburg, Virginia. Tony Pike flushed out of the pocket again. Looking to throw the ball back inside, a very athletic play by Cody Grimm. To talk about, I don't know if it's lack of respect, but certainly lack of notoriety. This will make it five straight years for Virginia Tech, winning 10 or more games. Only USC and Texas can make that claim in all of college football. And Frank Beamer is about to Look get out, a wee bit chilly. Didn't even flinch. How happy to get dunked tonight. There he is. Look at him. Ooh, that feels so good. Yes, it does. That will be the final snap of the night. So the Virginia Tech Hokies, a final count of 20 to 7. As always, we thank both universities, their sports information directors. Let's send it downstairs to Chris Myers. Java